Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of a plus b plus c. Given that sine 18 degrees is equal to a plus square root of b all over c. To solve this problem, we are going to make use of an isosceles triangle. So we have Let this be triangle A, B, C. Let the side A, B be equal to X units. And let the side A, C be also equal to X units. Let B, C be equal to 2 units. And let this angle be equal to 2 times 18 degrees, which is 36 degrees. Now, remember that an isosceles triangle has two equal base angles. We can calculate the size of this base angle because we know that the sum of angles inside a triangle, the sum of these three angles is 180 degrees. When we take out this one, 36 degrees, we are left with these two since they are equal. We divide to get the value of one of them. So this is equal to 144 degrees over 2. This is equal to 72 degrees. So the size of each of these base angles is going to be 72 degrees. Now let us draw a line from B to meet the side AC at D. So let here be equal to D. And let the length of this line be D also be equal to 2. So we have that here is equal to here. You can see that we have created another isosceles triangle. And since this side is equal to this side, it simply means that this angle must also be equal to this angle because they are now base angles. So here is 72 degrees once more. And that means that here is going to be equal to 36 degrees. Now, remember that A, B, C, that is this big angle, is also equal to 72 degrees. So, to find the size of this angle, we simply subtract 36 degrees from 72 degrees. And that is going to give us 36 degrees. Now, look at the triangle A, B, D. You can see that here is 36 and here is 36. So, that means that triangle A, B, D is also isosceles and that means that here must be equal to here. Remember that here is equal to here, two units. So here is two units, here is two units and here is also two units. So that means that we can find the length of D, C because you remember that A, C is equal to X. And we have found that AD is equal to 2. So the length of DC must be equal to the length of AC minus the length of AD. That is X minus 2. So DC is equal to X minus 2. Now, we have shown that triangle ABC is similar to triangle B. C, D, because they are both isosceles triangles. That simply means that from triangle A, B, C, X over 2 must be equal to 2 over X minus 2 from triangle B, C, D. And cross multiplying, we have that X times x minus 2 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. Opening this bracket, we have x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. And rearranging this equation, we have x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation cannot be factorized, but we can solve using the quadratic formula. We have that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of 
b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, b is minus 2. So, minus b is minus minus 2, which is plus 2. So, we have 2 plus or minus. b squared is minus 2 squared, and that is 4. Minus 4. a is 1. And c is minus 4. So, this is minus 4 times minus 4. All over 2 times a. a is 1. So, this is going to be equal to 2. From here, we have 2 plus or minus 4. Minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16. 4 plus 16 is 20 divided by 2. We have 2 plus or minus. Of course, we know that 20 is 4 times 5. So this is root 4 multiplied by root 5 all over 2. And from here, we have that x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. And we have root 5 all over 2. 2 will go into this and into that to give us 1 plus or minus square root of 5. But since x is a length, it must be positive. So we have that x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5. Now let us come back to this triangle. If we draw the perpendicular height, you know that it is going to divide BC into two equal parts. So here is going to be 1. And of course, this is going to be 90 degrees. So we have something like this. Half of 36 is 18 degrees. This is 90 degrees. This is 1. And remember, AC is equal to X which we have found to be 1 plus square root of 5. Now, using our trigonometric identities, we know that sine 18 degrees is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine 18 degrees is equal to 1 over 1 plus root 5. And of course, we have to rationalize this. So we have that sine 18 degrees is equal to 1 over 1 plus root 5 multiplied by, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this sort, which is 1 minus root 5. So this is going to be 1 minus root 5 over 1 minus root 5. In the numerator, we have 1 minus root 5. And in the denominator, you can see that we have 1 plus root 5 multiplied by 1 minus root 5, difference of two squares. So we have 1 squared minus root 5 squared. This is equal to 1 minus root 5 all over 1 minus 5. This is equal to 1 minus root 5. All over 1 minus 5 is minus 4. And of course, to get rid of this minus, the numerator becomes minus 1 plus root 5. All over 4. So we have that sine 18 degrees is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 all over 4. And of course, from here, we have that A is equal to minus 1. B is equal to 5. And C is equal to 4. And when we add minus 1 plus 5 plus 4, this is going to be minus 1 plus 5 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 
So we have that the value of A plus B plus C, given that sine 18 degrees is equal to A plus square root of B all over C, is equal to 8. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.